Trace Atkins is married to Susan Sarandon on the new Fox TV show Monarch, and as a married couple, they do married couple things. Of course, you guys play hus- husband and wife. Are there romantic scenes between the yeah, two of you? A few, you know. Yeah, NBD. I spent last year kissing on the sexy Annie from Bull Durham. Actually, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Is it awkward kissing Susan Sarandon, the star of Bull Durham, Rocky Horror Picture Show? I mean, so many great movies. Is it strange? <laughs> well, it was terribly uh, awkward. I'm Billy Dukes, and I want to be clear, Susan was not to blame for the awkwardness. Trace didn't kiss and tell in any kind of salacious way, but bottom line, it was the Susan Sarandon. She's a big deal. More from Trace in 10 seconds and the acting advice Susan had for another cast member that made us do a spit take. But first, thumbs up this video if you're going to watch Monarch on Fox, and then subscribe because we'll be here to help explain the premiere episode after it airs. There is a lot of drama to unpack. According to Wikipedia, Trace Adkins stands almost a full foot taller than Susan Sarandon, but he was the one terrified the first day of filming with Sue. I was really nervous, of course. I mean, uh, you know, going into a scene, my very first scene with with an actor of that stature, you know, uh, it was it was terrifying. But she uh, was very gracious and very giving, and and just. Uh, she calmed me down and, and she knew exactly what to do and how to handle it and she's a total professional, you know. Trace told me he and Susan spent significant time talking and discussing the script beforehand to establish the chemistry between their characters LB and Dottie Roman. Later we found out that Susan gave actors the advice they needed and it wasn't all nicey-nice. Beth Ditto plays the on-screen couple's daughter, Gigi, on Monarch. Like Trace, her acting resume is thin so she was nervous too. And it was, I think it was like our first big day. And we had this scene where we had to like walk down this really steep hill and all these girls are in high heels and like, it's just like a mess. And um, there's, you know how you have to like stand where you were and I was really conscious of that and I didn't want to do anything wrong. So I just kept being like, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Like, what am I doing? Like, I, I did this, wait, stop. And <laughs> Susan was like, shut the f- up. <laughs> Don't worry, Beth loved her for that because Susan was right. So yeah, everyone started to feel real comfortable after that. Trace did tell us that he was glad he could bring some country music knowledge to the stage. He also told us there is a lot of himself in the L.B. Roman character. Both are girl dads, both aren't afraid of violence. Find a link in the corner in the description to our full interview with Trace. And if you'd like to hear the full unedited interview, find links to the Taste of Country Nights On Demand podcast It's about seven minutes long, and he's really, really good. But I digress. Back to the awkwardness in a second, but first, I want to know who you think country music's best actor is. Is it Trace, Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, Dwight Yoakam, Reba McIntyre? Drop a comment below. Most mentions wins. All right, Trace Adkins again. Is it awkward kissing Susan Sarandon, the star of Bull Durham, Rocky Horror Picture Show? I mean, so many great movies. Is it strange? (laughs) Well, it was terribly uh, awkward, you know, when... (laughs) <laughs> you know, you, a lot of people are standing around, yeah. and they, of course, yeah, and and then yeah, this is this is Susan Sarandon, and, and that thought never left my mind, you know. So I was a little, yeah, you got to be a little nervous about it. I gotta imagine kissing someone in front of a film crew is kind of like kissing someone in front of your parents. You probably hold back a little bit. All right, last thing from Trace because it's on brand, and I'll ask you to consider subscribing if you like this kind of interview content. And if you plan on going deep with Monarch, we cover shows like Yellowstone very closely and hope to do the same if you're into it. So let us know with a thumbs up. You know, we've talked a few times about your acting and, and uh, how you've been in scenes with Mark Wahlberg or one of the Wahlbergs where you got to beat him up pretty good. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. A Lincoln lawyer, of course. I get a feeling like the violence of this show and your character's relationship with violence is something that maybe you enjoy acting out. Is that is that accurate? I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> 